How to unlock the Knights of the Ebon Blade Quartermaster Who needs Knights of the Ebon Blade faction? From a profession perspective, jewel crafters will definitely be interested since the recipe for a glowing twilight opal creates one of the best mage gems in the game, giving them plus 9 spell power and 12 stamina. Tailors will also be keen to grab the abyssal bag recipe as this creates the best soul bag available for those wicked and wonderful warlocks to store all 32 of their souls. Among those items, there are also some great gear to pick up for casters, tanks, and melee play classes for their prepus, or at least to help close the gap, ranging from honored to exalted reputation. Where is the Quartermaster? The Quartermaster, Duchess Minx, who sounds like she's been smoking a hundred packets of cigarettes when she was in the womb. Like, seriously, she makes Arthur sound like he's David Beckham. Yes, I will listen for now. Get on with it. You lost me at hello. She's located in the Shadow Vault in Ice Crown. Now, she's not available initially. To climb up the reputation ladder for this faction, you will need to unlock the Quartermaster through a series of quests and then pick up the tabard to equip for your level 80 dungeons. How do I unlock the Quartermaster? Really easy actually. The only requirement you need is a flying mount with cold weather flying and you can start this quest as low as level 77. If you don't have a flying mount, don't panic as you can visit Honest Max at K3 for a free lone griffin. There are a total of 6 quests you'll need to complete. First, talk to Officer Van Rossum in Crassus Landing, Dalaran, and accept the first quest of the chain, Preparations for War. Take the flight path to Arjun Vanguard in Ice Crown. If you don't have this flight path, then get ready to do some running. If you took the flight path, get on your flying mount and you're going to head towards the middle of Ice Crown. There will be two warships flying elliptically. One is Horde and one is Alliance. Remember, this is an Alliance guide. If you didn't take the flight path and are manually walking your way there, I'd recommend picking up the Argent Vanguard flight path along the way. Once you get to the warship, speak to High Captain Justin Bartlett and hand in the Preparations of War quest. He won't give you another quest, but you can go to the right, or for you nautical enthusiasts, Starbird Balcony, where Thessarion will give you a quest called It's All Fun and Games, which is the second quest of the chain. Accept this quest, get on your flying mount, and head north. When you get there, there will be an evil eye at the top of the tower, and its gaze can... Wait. Hold up. I've seen this somewhere before. Anyway. Use the quest item to damage it until it dies and then head directly downwards and talk to Baron Sliver to hand in the quest. Baron Sliver will give you the third quest called I Have an Idea But First, where you will need to kill mobs around you for certain items. It's pretty quick. Once you've done this, hand in the quest back to Baron Sliver, who will give you the fourth quest, Free Your Mind which requires killing four mobs and then turning them into your allies. Once you've done that, turn the quest into Baron Sliver again, who will give you the fifth quest if he cannot be turned which is to go into the Shadow Vault and kill General Lightsbane. A quick tip for this quest is that you can fly inside the Shadow Vault, so get on your flying mount and fly over the mobs, disturb the weapon rack, and kill him. Now, he is an elite, but don't worry, he doesn't do that much damage, and as the fight goes on, the guys you turn in the previous quest will come and help you out. Once he's dead, you have to hand in the quest to Thessarion back at the flying warship. For the 6th and final quest, pick up the Shadow Vault from Thessarion, fly back to the Shadow Vault, and talk to Baron Sliber one last time. And there you have it, you've unlocked the Shadow Vault, the Fly Path, and Duchess Mix, the Quartermaster. Make sure you pick up your tabard before you leave. 
As a side note, if you want to get rep from the Knights of the Ebon Blade without the dungeons, you can continue the quest line which will help speed up the process, but won't be enough to get you to Exalted. So feel free to mix it up. Thanks for tuning in and good luck with the grind.